Let's listen to them one time. <laughs> My nails. I'll see you next time we. <laughs>I didn't want to document this because it's kind of embarrassing, but I wish that there was a video for me to find to really let me know what this is. But if you ladies get your nails done, this might happen. Like, what is this? Can you guys see it? I'm getting my nails done by the same lady for over a year. These are my nails. These are my natural nails. I get dip powder because my nails are weak and with dip powder it makes them strong so they're able to grow. But in the process of this, changing this last set, freaking my nail lady noticed this. At first I thought it was a bruise just because I keep smacking my things. I'm not used to long nails. I keep smacking them so I thought it was bruised but it's not. It's freaking fungus. I ain't never in my life had freaking fungus on my fingers. So I was Googling and YouTubing all kinds of stuff like how to get rid of this. If you guys ever seen any nails, like sometimes they lift. Like if you get a fill or just a dip powder, they lift right here at the bottom of your nail. And when it does that, you get water in there. And water gets trapped under your nail and the dip powder, it causes moisture. And the moisture causes nail fungus or greens, as we call it. It freaking sucks. So right now, I went ahead and just peeled these two off because they were lifting so bad anyways. These are the only two fingers I have on. So I'm gonna document the healing on my nails. So if anyone else has this problem, you guys know what to do. So what I'm gonna try right now, I have this Curacao, I believe it's called, that I'm using medication and then I ordered some pills from Walmart to help you internally, like inside out for your nails for fungus and a home remedy I'm gonna try with coconut oil, tea tree oil, and or oregano oil. What I did when I peeled the, the powder off, I went ahead and just cut my whole nail off and I sanded down as much as I could to get out most of the fungus, but as you can still see, it's still there. Not so much on this finger. And at least it's at the top, because some people start way at the bottom. But this should be able to grow out in a couple weeks. If it's way down on the bottom, they say it could take from three to six months. So we're gonna try all this out and see what happens. Wish me luck. So if y'all see me in the videos, y'all like, I'm only got two nails. No, it's not because two nails is gone. It's because I got this freaking fungus on my fingers. Sucks. But it is what it is. Beauty knows no pain. But I'm sad now I'm gonna cut all the rest of my nails off. It took me like months to get my fingernails like this. Let's listen to them one time. <laughs> my nails. I'll see you next time we <laughs> All right, y'all. Let's get them healed so we can get them back looking pretty. Okay, so we do the curse twice a day, morning and night. And then I believe you do the natural oils whenever you want to. So I'm gonna do that for the first week. And then after the first week, we only do it once a day instead of twice a day. So I'm gonna get you updated in a week and we'll see our progress. Till next week. Okay, my Samaritans, for our natural mixture, we're gonna use three tablespoons of coconut oil and castor oil and 25 drops of oregano oil and tea tree oil mixed together and voila, magic. Another hack I learned was to use a vapor rub. Baby rub was all I had, but you know, still got the vapor rub ingredients. So I went ahead and used what I had in my cabinet. But you go ahead and apply that onto the affected nail. I wrapped it up myself with a band-aid because I didn't want it to get all on my pillow. And I just let it sit overnight. Y'all, I don't play no games. So I got this. This is the clear nails I got from Walmart. It's supposed to help your nail health. Then I got these hair, skin, and nail gummies with biotin also and this is gonna help my nail growth and while I'm at it it's gonna help my hair and skin too so triple whammy love it I will link the description below if you guys want to try these if you have these greenies just to help my nails grow out a little faster so we can get rid of this so we can get our nails done again boom
In one week, this is what we're looking like. They grew out a little bit. I already trimmed them down. This is how much my nails grew. This hot put it on, y'all. I just take it. You put a thin layer over the area. I just put it all over because I don't want nothing left on these nails. And you just let it sit and dry for 10 minutes. And after this dries, I go ahead and I put my oil on, my natural oils that I made myself, and I put that on there. Boom, and just let it dry. Week one down, one week to go. I'll show you the results. Okay, y'all. I don't waste no time. I saw a little bit of growth. This is day 10. I saw a little bit of growth. I'm cutting you off. You gotta go. So I cut it down again. And look, you barely see me. It's almost all gone. Oop, I'm not flipping y'all off. That's what y'all to see. It's like, I already chopped it down. See, this is how much they grew from this finger. This is the finger that had the greenie on it. And I chop it off. Now it's like almost back to normal. Day 10. See, just a little bit. But not too much. Well, I give another couple of days and I think it's going to be gone. They said it could be like three to six months. But I guess that's if it starts like way down here. But mine, thankfully, was at the top, so it didn't take that long to grow out. So I'm going to give another couple days, and I'll be back to show y'all more progress. Hello, people. So in three days, it'll be a month since I've been doing this care with my nails, and this is what we're looking like right now. Greenies all gone. Other side. I really need a manicure, but we're not looking at that right now. We're looking at no greenies. And I probably cut it about two times since the last video. Put the medicine on, just taking those prenatals, taking those clear, um, clear nail pills, and it's all gone. Voila. It did take a little while, but at least it's gone now and I can't wait to get my nails done again. I know that's bad, but I need my nails done. Like I can't even go myself. Actually, you know what? I like, I'm about to go paint them by myself. Ooh, that's gonna be a struggle. But yeah, green knees is all good. No doctors required. We did that by ourselves, Americans. We did that. No insurance needed, period. As y'all can see, I'm not playing. Fungus what? Bacteria who? Not here, not ever, be gone. You are now welcome. I probably did the most, you know, I had some medicated stuff, some pills, some gummies, some natural oils, but I'm gonna do whatever I gotta do naturally so I don't have to go to these doctors and see if I can get rid of it myself and save me some coins. And I did it natural and healthy and I feel good. My nails look good. And yeah, that's just my way. I'm pretty sure there's a hundred other ways to do it and deal with it but there was not a lot of videos on YouTube about it, so I had to document it for you guys because we are Samaritans. That's what we do here. We help each other out, and I talk about the things that might be uncomfortable for other people to talk about, but I had to let y'all know because I know I'm not the only one with this problem, and we don't need to be out here looking green. No boo-boo. So I hope you guys like this video. hope it was informative. I hope it helped somebody out today. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like what I did here and you want to hear some more health tips, beauty tips, you know I'm here, I got you, I'm a Samaritan just like you. We're here for you, I'm here for you. We're here for each other. Make sure you comment down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!